to see how long I can do that. Hey everybody, it's Matt Fish, owner and founder of Melt Bar and Grill. Guess what? It's burger season. That's right, burger season, Melt Bar and Grilled. April, May, and June. Welcome to April. Spring is finally here. It is snowing in Greater Cleveland. It wouldn't be spring if it wasn't snowing up here in the Great White North of Ohio, but we are rolling out awesome burgers all season, all of April, all of May, and all of June. You can see my good buddy John G, our local artist and best friend, drew a killer poster for old school burger season, May, April, and June. It's actually wrestling themed. We've got different wrestling characters for all of our burgers. Right here, we got barbecue sauce, our burger on here. We've got onion rings. We've got pulled pork on here. Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. And our kettle chips. We've got kettle chips right here. See those kettle chips? Kettle chips. All right, coming at you now, we've got a new burger we're rolling out. First time ever in the history of Melt Bar and Grill, we have a brand new hamburger that we are rolling out. This is a French onion burger. I had this for dinner the other night with an Impossible Burger. We are offering a fresh hamburger, a vegan patty that we make fresh in house. As you guys know, it's on our Good Burger, which is on our menu every day at Melt Bar and Grill. But we're also offering the brand new Impossible Burger, which is a, also a vegan burger at Melt Bar and Grill. I had that the other night. It's delicious. It blew my friggin' mind. But we've got our caramel port onions on here, Swiss cheese, French fried onions, Melt's famous chip dip. French onion chip dip is on this sandwich. This guy is gonna blow your friggin' mind. I swear it's so good. You gotta try it. You gotta try it. Coming back over here for another fave. This is the El Diablo burger. It got some spice. We make a four pepper. Um, spice mix that the burger is dipped in before it is grilled and then we've got our sweet chipotle sauce jalapeno peppers pepper jack cheese this guy's good it's a little spicy so watch out out there people coming at you you guys tired of seeing burgers yet no way we got them all month which one's this this is the peanut butter bacon burger this is also brand new for burger season we've got our fresh ground, fresh made peanut butter on there, bacon, provolone cheese. If you've never had peanut butter on a burger before, shame on you, you gotta get to melt and try this guy out. It's delicious, it's awesome, that's so good. Oh my, I I'm running out of room over here, this is insane. Breakfast burger, you guys know it, you love it. It's been on the menu almost since day one. This is two fried eggs, American cheese, fresh bacon, Grilled this morning, fresh burger. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This guy is awesome. You gotta try this one out. And two more. I know, I'm, I'm running out of breath. I can't wait till we get to the beer section. I need a beer. Which one's this one? This, this one is the black and blue burger. This one has also been around for quite a long time. Blackened burger, blue cheese, onion ring, blue cheese dressing. Oh my gosh, this is a good one. If you love blue cheese, you gotta try this one out. This, there's chips flying, flying at you. Oh my gosh, okay. I need two hands for this guy. This one right here. Oh, the glorious, the glorious Reverend Horton Meat Burger. That is right, people of Meltland. It is back, badder and bigger than ever. This guy, let's break this down. We offered it for the first time last year during burger month sold like crazy we never thought it was going to sell this insane thing that we created we thought four or five people might order it no it sold quite well so we brought it back again for burger season all of april all of may all of june all these delicious burgers reverend horton meat why because there's a lot of meat on it there's a buddy that we know in new york that we named it after called the rev Two of our eight ounce burgers, a ton of bacon, almost two pounds of cheese, American cheese, grilled cheese sandwiches that are deep fried as the buns, okay? There is a lot going on in here, a lot of flavor, a lot of dish deliciousness, a lot of big going on right here. Reverend Horton meat. Can you see me through there? I can see you right through there. Delicious. 
This is an awesome sandwich. I think you can probably feed a whole family of four with this thing, right? All right, we got two side dishes coming at you. Coming at you, coming at you live on Facebook Live. Let me get those chips out of the way. Kind of making a mess down here. Got to get somebody to clean up after us today. All right, we've got Melt's famous potato salad that we are making in house every day. This is awesome. Red skin potatoes, our signature Melt dressing that goes on there. I just had this the other day with my burger. Oh my gosh, it was so good. And coming back at you, Kung Pao broccoli. This is a favorite, fresh roasted broccoli tossed in a spicy Kung Pao sauce with some chopped peanuts on there. These, I mean, let's stop talking about these burgers for a second. These two side dishes right here are some of the best that we have ever offered at Melts. They are made fresh for us every day in Melts by, with signature recipes. These are good by themselves. They're good accoutrements to all of our delicious burgers. We've got, coming back at you over here, we've got a delicious strawberry shortcake bread pudding, vanilla, vanilla bread pudding. It's a little melty, I, for, please forgive me, but we've got, I'm actually gonna take a bite of it while we're doing this. Oh, actually, some of the sauce. Mmm, holy cow. Strawberry shortcake bread pudding. Vanilla bread pudding. A sweet strawberry sauce, vanilla ice cream. This tastes like Sunday dinner grandma sauce. My grandma used to make an amazing strawberry shortcake. That's why I wanted to do this for Burger Month. Wow, I'm at grandma's table right now. More milk, grandma, more milk. Ooh. And now, what I wouldn't do at grandma's house was drink a beer because I wasn't old enough when I was sitting at grandma's table, unfortunately. But we've got an awesome beer from the Pacific Northwest coming at you. North Coast Brewing is making an awesome IPA called Stellar IPA, which we are featuring all month of April. It's very delicious. If you've ever had North Coast Brewery beers, they're fantastic. This is a great example of what they do. A very well-balanced IPA, it's called Stellar IPA. The reason it's called Stellar is because it is. It tastes stellar, it's amazing. And a very cool project that North Coast Brewing is doing is that a uh, percentage of sales, every keg that we buy of this beer is gonna be donated to a recovery project in the Pacific Northwest for the sea lions that live up in that region. So if you come in, drink a Stellar IPA, enjoy this beer, and know that you are not only drinking a delicious beer, but you are also helping a uh, near endangered species up in the Pacific Northwest. So. Here's to you, sea lions. I'm drinking to you. And our cocktail of the month for April is Hurricane Melt. It's almost hurricane season. I was checking out my weather channel app this morning and they were talking about hurricane season that's approaching. Um, we are starting hurricane season early here in north coast of Ohio. We've got a melt hurricane right here. Mm. Two different kinds of rum, regular Bacardi rum, Bacardi dark, some fresh lime juice, lemon juice, our house made grenadine, a little bit, a little nice little cherry on there. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. Oh, what happened? Sorry. And let's not, let's not forget, we got a couple other things to talk about. I'm not, I'm, am I juggling these? I don't know. What's happening here? We are starting to offer some awesome caramel corn at Melt Bar and Grill. If you guys are not familiar with Campbell's Sweet Factory, they are an awesome locally owned company here in Cleveland, Ohio. They've been in business for many, many years. They make amazing sweets. They started at the Westside Market and now they've expanded out to a couple retail stores. They're actually right next door to us in Lakewood, Ohio. And that is one of the reasons we're doing this collaboration. We came up with a signature vegan caramel popcorn recipe with them. And we are bagging it in these cute little bags and they're for sale at Melt Bar and Grill and our case is up front. So now, people of Meltland who have been asking us for many, many years, we have a vegan dessert at Melt Bar and Grill. So if you are vegan, you can enjoy this while you're waiting for your food, after your food and your ride home, the next morning for breakfast. If you got some kitties, you're bringing them in, pick up, a, pick up a bag, entertain them while they're waiting for their food, but we're just rolling this out in April. All Melt Bar and Grilled locations in the company will be offering these killer little bags of popcorn, so please check these out. Um, 
probably a mistake that I keep these in my office um, because I've been nibbling on these bags quite often. So we're not really making a profit because I think I'm eating all the profits for these awesome caramel corn here. But um, got a couple other things to chat about. I'm off screen. <laughs> what? So we just rolled out a brand new menu, April 2nd. If you haven't been to Melt Barn Grilled in a while, if you haven't been to Melt Barn Grilled this week, if you haven't been to Melt Barn Grilled today, guess what? Brand new menu. We just rolled it out April 2nd. So we've got some brand new items on here, some killer new sandwiches, some new appetizers. There's plenty of photographs and videos and all this killer stuff on our website, so please check it out. Melt Bar and Grilled. Dot com. You can probably see my handsome face up there um, talking about a couple of different items that we have on here. And on top of that, we have a brand new happy hour menu that we just launched also on April 2nd. So you've got some killer new, new items here for happy hour available from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. every Monday through Friday. New cocktails, some beer features. I know you guys like beer features out there. So that's what we got going on. And moss green. I'm back. <laughs> I'm gonna drink some of this more, a little bit more of this beer while I chat with you guys because we are starting a major renovation project in Lakewood right now. Our flagship location, Lakewood, Ohio, started in 2006. You guys know the story. You've heard it. You've heard me tell it hundreds of times before. Well, guess what? We just closed the location for 26 days because we are starting a major renovation project. The place is almost gutted right now. I was just over there before I came and dressed up like a hamburger to come talk to you guys about all of our awesome features for April, May, and June. But we're gonna re-grand open on April 27th with a killer new layout, brand new kitchen, awesome creature comforts that you've come to know at Melt Bar and Grill. So, if, no matter where you are in the greater Cleveland area or in Ohio or in the country or in the world or even outer space, come and visit us April 27th that weekend. We're doing some grand opening features, some specials. We're flying in some celebrities. I might actually be there. So it's going to be killer. So let's, let's summarize that I'm t now that I'm going to drink my Stellar IPA. A little parts I've been talking to you guys. It is burger season at Melt Barn Grill. April, May, June. We have nine different hamburgers, specials, features that we've been rolling out for you guys for April, May, and June. We've got two amazing side dishes, a great bread pudding, a killer stellar IPA that also gives back to the community, gives back to the sea lions. What else? Caramel popcorn? I mean, do you need anything else? Is that not enough for you? What else do you want from me? I'm dressed like a hammer. All right, we'll see you guys at Melt. Be good, love yourselves. Hamburger Rick.